All right, now we gotta have a conversation, guys. Is Z King fighting you? Is he gotta have a conversation about pound for pound number one fighter in the world? And you know, I, I I've said this shit time and time again. Even before, even before, Andre Ward uh, was about to fight Kovalev. After Mayweather retired, man, flat out, straight up and down. The auto go-to guy for, for that number one pound for pound spot has always been Andre Ward. He's been number two for the longest fucking time on that list. Who's the last guy you know to really truly clean out a division? Who's the last guy you knew be six of the top ten guys in a single division? Well, Andre Ward cleaned out 168 pounds. Went up to 175, fought the best available competition, including the number one guy uh, with the most belts in Andre and sorry in Crusher Sergey Kovalev, and made him look like a chump after two fights. It took two fights, but Andre Ward solidified his spot as a pound for pound great. He made HBO's. Max Kellerman bowed down and respected. You know what it is? He, he made Max Kellerman bow down and respected. And HBO had to bow down and admit at this stage he must be the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Must be. There's no other man. <laughs> don't, don't even talk about it. Don't act like Don Turner talking about Lomachenko. <laughs> talking about Lomachenko. Man, Lomachenko's got Salido problems. That's all I got to say about that, man. Andre Ward still undefeated, 32-0 and 0 now. And, and look at just look at the names on the resume, and you tell me who the number one power for power fighter is. There's no other resume out there that uh, that you can look at in terms of a guy that's on a top five list who's potentially number one, number two pound for pound. There's no other resume you can look at and really uh, deny Andre Ward his spot at number one. He's the man right now. And what he needs to do is find a high-profile fight. Uh, I know he's been trying to fight Chavez <laughs> for a while, uh, a couple years ago. He's been trying to fight Chavez, Pavlik. He really missed out on some on some names when he could have gotten in a big fight. He missed out on Kelly Pavlik. He missed out on Julio Cesar Chavez. He could have fought, um... I, 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 he could have fought Triple G. Triple G didn't want... Man, if Triple G came up and fought Andre Ward, that would have been one of the biggest step-up moments uh, in boxing. But Gennady Golovkin, he, he knew where he was. He knew what it was, man. He knew. Gennady Golovkin knew. He didn't want no parts of this guy. He didn't want no parts of no Andre Ward. <laughs> so you see what happened? Uh, the bigger, stronger guy in, in Sergey Kovalev just got made to look like a chump. Damn near quit on himself. It's not only me saying that. Check the news. Adrian Bronner. Uh basically went on the record saying, you know what, Kovalev looked like he was going to quit. Max Kellerman said, you know, he got the fight beat out of him. Fucking, uh, uh, even, even David, John David Jackson, Kovalev's trainer saying, you know, Ward out hustle him straight up. You know, we fought the wrong fight. That's, that's John David Jackson. He's in the corner. Don Turner, what, another one of Kovalev's cornermen saying, uh, you know what, Kovalev, he's just not a thinker. Like, that's, that's straight facts. Kovalev's team was in turmoil and just didn't didn't have his shit together for, for this fight. Straight up and down, he didn't have his shit together. Andre Ward stayed solid, stayed consistent, and beat his man up. And Virgil Hunter, look at him now. Virgil Hunter made this iconic statement that he had only trained Ward to stop a fighter once before, and that was in the Chad Dawson fight. 
And in this fight, he had trained Andre Ward to get a stoppage. And look what happened. He went out there and got himself a fucking stoppage. So, I have, to me, that's enough said. Andre Ward solidifies his spot. Number one pound for pound. Let me know what you guys think. Who's number two? Is it Triple G? I don't know. He, he's got to be Canelo. He's got to be Canelo before we give him that. He can fight.